I'm betting your opportunity stage probability is incorrect. In Salesforce, each stage has a probability that's assigned to it and it's required. That probability is supposed to represent how likely it is for an opportunity at that stage to become closed one. The problem is when you first set up that sales process, you probably don't know what the probability should be for each stage, so you end up guessing. This is a problem because you use that probability in forecasting. When you take all of the opportunities in your pipeline, you can multiply their probability times their amount to give you an expected value. But if your probabilities are all wrong, your expected value is certainly gonna be wrong. The good news is if you've been using Salesforce for a while, I can show you how to build a report that'll tell you how often an opportunity that was in a given stage actually made it all the way to closed one. And you can look at that report and take that percentage and use that for your probabilities. So historically, if 30% of the opportunities that made it to discovery made it to closed one, you can update your stage and put in 30%. Same thing for negotiation or presentation or whatever your stages happen to be. And let me show you how to build out that report so you can update these stage values and improve your forecasting. First thing we need to do is go into the regular side of Salesforce and create a new report. Click on the reports tab and then click new report. What's critical here is that you choose the right report type. You might think you can just run a report on opportunities and that'll give you the data you need, but you'd be wrong. What you actually need is opportunity history. Opportunity history is a special report type that actually reports on a record that gets created in the background every time you update the stage or a key field on an opportunity record. What we care about is that stage. So whenever a stage has been updated, we wanna know that. This report also includes current values from that opportunity. This is gonna allow us to filter down the report so we just get those closed deals and we look at how many of them were closed based off what stage they went through. Once you've created your report, go ahead and save it right off the bat. Uh, this is important because we're gonna create a formula later and if you don't have it already saved, you'll get an error when you create that formula. I'm gonna call this report stage to one conversion and then hit save. Click on the filters tab, update these filters so you're including all of the opportunities that you've got. So I wanna see all opportunities. I want that close date to be from all time. And I do actually wanna add a filter here under this last include filter. I only want closed deals. You could create the same report and include open deals, but that's gonna throw off your conversion rate because we're gonna be counting the number of one opportunities against the total number of opportunities. If you have a lot of deals that just sit open, it's gonna look like your one rate is smaller than it might actually be. Next thing we're gonna do is include a filter for the from stage. And we just wanna make sure that we're not including whenever there's no selection in the from stage. This is just gonna remove all those records that get created when you first create the opportunity record. It's just not a relevant data set for this particular report, so we'll exclude that. The next thing to search for is stage change. This is a field on that opportunity history record that tells us whether or not that record was created because of a stage change. Like I mentioned, there are other key fields that when changed will also create one of these records. We wanna exclude those. So we only have the stage changes represented here. With that, you can click on the outline tab and I'm gonna remove some of the things that I don't need here. I don't need to see expected revenue or probability at this point. Close date could be useful, I'll leave that. Last modified, we can get rid of that. Forecast category can be ignored as well. And I'm gonna ignore owner too. Now let's add a new column. Search for one, W-O-N, and this is a checkbox that gets checked automatically whenever a closed opportunity is in a one stage. This is great, because this is gonna let us count how many of these records are one, and then we'll know whatever is not checked must have meant that it was lost since we filtered this out to only show us those deals that have been closed. So either it's one or it's lost, and this checkbox tells us that. Next thing we wanna do is group on the from stage. Click the down arrow next to the from stage and select group. And you can see here, it's already adding up our, <clears throat> and you can see on the right hand side, it's already adding up the number of records that are one. So the next thing we need to do is create our formula. So our formula is gonna be simple division. We'll take our one records and we'll divide that by the total number of records. That's gonna give us our percentage of one records in that particular group. To add the formula, you can come to this columns area, click the drop down, and select add summary formula. 
We don't want a row level formula at this point. For the column name, let's call it conversion rate. Make sure that the formula output is a percentage and then you can change the decimal points to zero. We don't need extra decimal points in this case. Under search fields, search for one and click insert. So this is gonna give us the sum of the records that were one and we wanna divide that by our total number of records. And that's right at the top. Click on record count, hit next, and then click validate. Under display, I recommend we only put this within our specific groups. So we have our group from stage, go ahead and select that and then hit apply. And now we've got a new column on the right hand side that gives us an output at the summary level that is our percentage of one records to total number of records. Click save and run to see the data. At this point, if you just wanna focus in on the stages and that conversion percentage per stage, you can toggle off the detail rows here and you get a cleaner view of that data. Now this is a demo org, so it's kind of strange data. Um, typically what you're gonna see as the stages progress, the likelihood that that opportunity is closed one should go up. Not the case with our demo information, uh, but hopefully yours makes a little more sense. And you can see here, 100% of our prospecting deals ended up being one, yet only 33% of our value proposition opportunities end up closing. Now that we've got this data, you can go back into the object manager and update the opportunity stage field to put in these different percentages to give you a more accurate idea of how likely an opportunity is gonna close depending on the stage that it's in. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, click like and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks.